Tonight, big news for Oregon business owners impacted the pandemic. Uh, today, the governor announcing 16 counties improved their risk level, and that allows decreased COVID restrictions. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Washington and Clackamas counties moved to moderate risk, meaning restaurants and gyms are among the places that can now allow more people inside. Jenny Young out tonight finding out what's next for restaurants and bars in Beaverton. Jenny? Hey there, Jeff. So basically what this is going to mean is they can have 50% capacity now that they're at the moderate risk level. But we talked to a coffee shop owner, a wine bar owner here at the Lionhouse uh, coffee shop. She told the owner told us uh, that they're not ready to open their dining room. In fact, they're going to probably wait until employees are vaccinated. Lauren Reese remembers vividly the day in March of 2020 when Oregon restaurants were forced to close. We went from at nine o'clock in the morning wondering, is this really happening? To at two o'clock having a, a bawling, tearful conversation with our staff having to lay them all off. Lauren and her husband Ben own Lionheart Coffee Company in Beaverton. They opened a second location at the corner of First and Watson just a few months before the COVID closures that forced them to lay off most of their 18 person staff. We'll never forget how the bottom just fell out. Lauren says, fortunately, they've been able to rehire most of those employees with the help of federal pandemic assistance. But across the street from Lionheart, David Anderson, co-owner of Syndicate Wine Bar, has had a much different experience. Believe it or not, we consistently grew through the pandemic and we, we've been declined for the payroll protection program because we don't have losses. Anderson and his wife opened the bar six months before the pandemic. He tells us the roller coaster of closures and reopenings didn't prevent them from hiring more people. It's been a very interesting ride. Anderson says today's news is no doubt good, but it likely won't make a big change in the way things run here for now. With 50% indoors, I honestly don't expect much of our operations to change. Most of our customers actually request outdoor dining. Both Reese and Anderson tell us they're thankful for the customers who've supported them through it all. It's just really reassuring to know that numbers are dropping, things are getting safer, and that, you know, this summer might look a lot different than the last couple months. All right, out here, a live look at Syndicate Wine Bar's outdoor seating. They can seat almost 60 people out here. So like you heard him say, um, it hasn't really hit them as hard as other folks. And one thing that they did that was very uh, creative, they closed down their kitchen and allowed restaurants on this street to serve takeout to the wine bar customers. So everybody helping everybody out. But this is some good news, even though it will be some slow movement forward. It is good news for restaurants and gyms. Reporting live tonight in Beaverton, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. Interesting ways to stay afloat, and that's a community collaboration that you just described there, Jenny. Thank you.